Velasquez. Step away from the senorita. <laughs> Sorry, my friend, but the pretty lady is mine. I'm sorry, but Senorita Naranja has oh. just told me she'd rather be eaten by me. <laughs> Again? Come on. You'll just get yourself hurt. <laughs> our home country. Yes, Bernardo, five years. Five long years since we left for Spain. It seems so long ago. Quick, let's gather our belongings. I look forward to seeing Ines again. Her letter has worried me. Something terrible seems to be happening in California. All those innocent arrested, good people ruined. She mentions the new Viceroy as a useless and greedy profiteer. And she seems to hate that Los Angeles captain. Oh, yes, I would love to fight. But it would be one against a hundred. And we'd only end up in prison, or worse. And by the way, apart from that Gala sword, I should not be seen with all these fancy swords. Huh? Bernardo, from now on, I must appear as a useless fencer. I no longer like weapons. I'm all about books. And as for you, you will pretend to be deaf. You'll see. People will talk in front of you, and we shall learn many interesting things, I'm sure. These are nothing more than big golden bowls. Today, we are facing a new challenge. <clears throat> Those are just two pesos apiece. Ines! Father! <gasps> Diego! <laughs> <laughs> You're taller than me! <laughs> and you, little sister, have turned into a real beauty! Oh, wow. Diego. Father, such a pleasure to see you again. So, what have you learned at the Royal Academy for the past five years? Your heads are fuller than when you left, I hope. Father, I've got some bad news. During the last of the King's celebrations, Bernardo stood a little bit too close to a cannon, and since then, he's been deaf. Oh, what a horrible story! Oh, Bernardo! Poor Bernardo! Ah, oh, what a stroke of bad luck. But I am glad that you are back home now. You'll see. We'll adapt to you. Huh? Oh, uh, careful! Huh? Uh, sorry. You incompetent <laughs> fool! Watch where you're going! Hurry up, you over there! Go on! Sergeant Garcia! Uh, yes, Captain. <laughs> this bunch of good-for-nothings is asleep! What are you waiting for? Wake them up! Do you want this to last until tomorrow? That'll teach you to rebel against the taxes. Uh, you hurt the captain. Back to work. Go on, quick. Quick. Uh, quick. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Calm down. Be nice. <laughs> Help! I, I can't swim! Garcia, you idiot! Don Alejandro. Senorita, what a wonderful surprise to see you here. <laughs> Diego, my son, this is Captain Monasterio from the Los Angeles garrison. And this is Bernardo Velasquez, Captain, the son of hmm. my former estate steward. We are back from Barcelona where we studied. Indeed. 
You two want to change the world like every other student? Me? No, I'm not into politics. But if you want to talk about poetry mm. or philosophy, I'm your man. Uh, forgive my friend, he is hmm. deaf. He understands sign language, but nothing else. I don't have time for such idiotic rubbish. <laughs> my medals! <laughs> I must take leave now. Sadly, my duty as a soldier is about to deprive you of my presence once again, Senorita Ines. <laughs> that was funny, Bernardo. <laughs> hmm. Rally round to Los Angeles. And at the double. Oh, uh, yes, Captain. Uh, right away, Captain. Uh, what? You're not happy? You should have paid your taxes then. Uh, let's go, everybody. Hmm. Oh, my poor back. When will there be a harbor in Los Angeles? These four days of traveling have been the death of me. Oh, Diego. Would you have preferred to walk home and sleep under the stars like those unfortunate peones? Oh, Diego, please. Uh, when we were little, we used to love sleeping outside, didn't we? But what are you saying? That monasterio is a brute who abuses the peasants and dominates the whole region. I know. I could talk with the captain about an excellent book I read about power, The Prince by Machiavelli. Diego, actions are louder than words. Come on! Didn't the two of you get my letter? Uh, yes, I did. But I don't like conflicts. It's just too boring. <gasps> I've got it. We have to invite Captain Monasterio to the Hacienda and explain to him that violence has never solved anything. I'm sure he'll understand and free the payoness. <laughs> Stop, please. In the name of Viceroy Don Esteban Parasol, the representative of His Majesty in California, anyone who has not paid their taxes is sentenced to jail. Uh, till their families have paid their debts. Sergeant Garcia, now. Uh, yes, yes, sir, sir Captain. Sir. Captain. Do you still believe we just need to ask the Captain nicely? Mm. Captain. These new taxes are unfair and insane. That's right. Who among these modest people can afford them? Show some mercy. Please, free these good people. That's not right. Don Alejandro de la Vega, the taxes have been set by the Viceroy in Monterey, and everyone has to pay. Oh, yes, yes. Well, the Viceroy is wrong, then. Don Parasol has been entrusted by your king. We all have a duty of obedience to him. Even you, don't forget it. Uh, yes, don't forget it. Uh, Father, the captain is right. It may be better not to annoy the Viceroy. <laughs> On the contrary, I shall return tonight back to Monterey to tell Don Parasol how I feel about all this. <laughs> Diego, stop. What? <gasps> Home at last. So good to be home again. Don Diego, welcome home. Thank you, my friend. Shh. <laughs> oh, por Dios! Mmm, <laughs> Maria, this has to be the best sopita in the world. Uh, sorry, Doña Maria. <laughs> for our dinner. If I let you, there would be nothing left. Shoo, shoo, <laughs> get out of my kitchen, you bunch of thieves. Oh, God! <laughs> you must come to the
the jail with me. Let's at least bring those unfortunate peonies a good dinner. I'd love to, but I am too exhausted for my travels. Tomorrow, all right? How can you be so selfish? Come on, get up! I do not like this at all, Ines. Do not provoke those soldiers. Maria, I can't just stand here and do nothing when innocents are suffering under this evil captain's boots. <gasps> Corporal Gonzalez. Yes, Sergeant? Uh, go and watch the prisoners. I have to go out. No, I watched them all afternoon. It's your turn, Whoa. Sergeant. Yes, but I am your superior, and I say you must watch them again, because I have to go and think about we do if uh, hmm. there was a mutiny, because huh? they've not been given any food or water. And where are you oh, going? To the inn, of course, to ask for tomorrow's menu. <laughs> so there. Sergeant Garcia! Uh, yes, Captain? Why are the prisoners sleeping on bales of hay? This is not a hotel. You have five minutes to take these bales out of the cells and give them to the horses. Oh, no. Good afternoon, Captain. I am certain that these prisoners must be a burden for the army, so I brought you food to feed them. Please, please, water. I am very sorry, Senorita de la Vega. The prisoners have already had their dinner, and they do not want anything else. Please! Oh. Hey, arrest him and put him in jail with the others. That'll teach him. Oh, <laughs> I mean, right. <gasps> Hands off, soldier. Let go of him. I forbid you to take him. Oh! <laughs> Looks like everyone's having a ball. Senores, may I please join your party? What does that mean? Who are you? My name is Zorro. And I'm here to bring justice back to Los Angeles. The town obviously needs it. And for a start, I'm going to free your prisoners. What? Hmm. Throw this buffoon in jail at once. <laughs> yeah. oh. You know what they say. The more, the merrier. <laughs> oh. Oh. Garcia. Lancers, grab your weapons. We're under attack. Oh. 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 There. <laughs> He's there. Catch him! Go, go! Ow! Ow! Thank you. My keys! <laughs> Watch out for the wasps! Catch him! You bunch of bumbling idiots! You are useless! The shame of the army! I'm over here! Huh? 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 No, not here. There! Listen, I'm trying to help you out. If you don't make an effort, it's not gonna work. <laughs> you fools! Give me that! Oh, Garcia, let go, man! Let go! No. Yes, sir, oh. Captain! and take the food with you. Thank you. Oh. Senores, do you really want me to fight against all of you with just this simple whip? 
All right, then. <laughs> oh. Oh. What's oh. happening? Oh. Oh. Captain Monasterio, something terrible has happened. All the prisoners have escaped. Huh. How? No one stayed to watch the cells? Garcia, <laughs> Gonzalez, huh? this will cost you your heart. Huh? Not again. <laughs> Right, I surrender. <laughs> or maybe not. Oh, look at that, Gonzalez. Oh. <laughs> He's very good. Stay behind me, Corporal. <laughs> Captain! Hey, look here! I have captured Zorro! I'm your sergeant! And I'm the one who led to this <laughs> arrest! Mm, are you quite sure, senores? Because I don't see any handcuffs around these hands. Arrest him! Take the horses! Quick! <laughs> You're weakening, you scoundrel! You have found your master. Yeah, remember my name, Garcia, Sergeant Garcia. <laughs> my sword. <laughs> no, no. Oh, 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 no, please. <laughs> this one is for you, Sergeant. Oh. <laughs> 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 Zoro. Move away. Make way. <laughs> Quick, Tornado! <laughs> 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 ah, blasted Zoro! We shall meet again! <laughs> Goodbye, Captain! <laughs> Where did that man come from? It all happened so fast. <laughs> Diego, listen, it was amazing. We went to the prison and the captain almost arrested Bernardo. And then a man arrived. He had a mask on. He said his name was Zorro. He fought all alone against... Diego, wake up! Oh, he's hopeless! <sighs> hmm. oh. Diego never used to be that way before he went to Spain. He's turned into a lazy good-for-nothing. Oh, what a shame. I don't recognize him at all. I wrote to ask him to come and help us, but all he does is sleep all day. Oh, I feel like sending him back on a ship. It's really too bad. Uh, but look at me. All I do is talk, 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 and you can't even hear. Oh, Bernardo, what's going to happen to us? Oh. Oh. Zorro! Uh, do not take another step, senor, or you may well end up with a headache tomorrow. I won't hesitate to break this vase over your head. Who are you? And what are you doing in our house? I don't recall inviting you in. And by the way, how do you even know about this passageway? Oh, Diego? The greatest good for nothing to have ever returned from Spain, in person. At your service, my dear sister. <laughs> what? So from the beginning, you've been making fun of me? <laughs> yeah. You were just acting a part? What about you, Bernardo? Are you really deaf or... Oh, I don't know which one of you I'm gonna knock huh? out first! <laughs> hey, Ines! Ines, listen! I can explain! <laughs> you 
should see your faces. It's priceless. <laughs> Diego, Bernardo, at last you are home. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, sis. You're going to smother us. And now's not the time. I need a nap. <laughs>